Roberts, and it's all a true story. It, it, it recounts his life. A poem had count your life in hearts. So come with me and take a chance. But I should warn you in advance. We're going abroad, we're going to France. Yeah, France. <laughs> Pack socks and pants, because we're going to France. A village poet, he once lived there. An eccentric whose life will share. A man called Gabriel Alice. And it's through poetry that he speaks, but also French. Yep, it's a wrench, but he speaks in French. He lost his house, it sounds bizarre. He swapped his maison for a car. Good grief, you say, or ooh la la. <laughs> but real poets, they go that far. How far is that? Halfway to town, but the car broke down. Still Gabriel had liberté, égalité, fraternité, been words that he used all the time, because he noticed that they rhyme. Yeah, right. It's not a crime, but it takes time. And in his jardin every day, but one with nature in his way, digging up his pond of tears, a perspex helmet he would wear, through which he speaks, Monsieur Alice, while planting leeks. The shape of a waste paper bin. The grand pubel his head was in. Not to look chic or, or debonair. To filter germs out of the air. Oh yeah, there's germs out there. You should take care. Sad bit coming up. Brace yourselves. But one day the germ got through. It killed him, but he says to you in poetry from over there. Living the extraordinary. Oh, yeah. It's not so rare if you just dare. <laughs> 